From birth, the children of the North hear tales of the end of the world. Ragnarok. When wolves will swallow the sun and moon, when the stars will be snuffed and the earth will tremble, when the gods will face the tribes of giants in a final battle that will ravage all the nine worlds, all father of the gods, Odin, has always smiled upon the human race. To the most devout of his followers, he entrusts stones inscribed with his personal rune, a mark of his power in the human world of Midgar. These rune stones are protected by only the most valiant of human warriors until the day they die and are taken by the Valkyries to fight alongside Odin at Ragnarok. Of all creatures, only one does not fear Ragnarok. The evil god, Loki. Bound deep in the bowels of the earth by Odin himself, only Ragnarok will set Loki free to have his revenge on gods and man alike. And it is only the power on Midgard of Odin and his runestones that holds Ragnarok at bay. People of Wotenkeld, we gather this day to honor one from our midst, younger than any ever so honored. He is yet wise and strong beyond his years. He has carried shields in the battles at Hindal and Uthabi, and aided in the fortification of this village, following the dark tales we have heard from the Northlands. Through trial by single combat, he has proven Day, that he is ready to take a place among the warriors of this village. Ragnar, son of Jarl, kneel here before the runestone of Odin and hear me. You must now put aside all childish things. Swear yourself to protect this stone and the village that surrounds and upholds it. Swear to stand beside your sword brothers until death to defend this holy shrine of the All Father. Raise now your sword and take up the glorious duties of the Odin's Blade. the village added your sword to our ranks, friend. Did Ulf? Uh, no. I can see you have yet to visit the weapons master. <laughs> An old man and a girl just came into the village, and they told us that Conrak's men are burning the Grove of the Gods. Ready for your final training with Holf. Drink mead from my table to fortify yourself, my son. You must continue your studies of the ways of war, son. Wisdom will come with experience, and you'll have need of both in these dark times. 
Slaughter and destruction sweeps across the land, and I fear it approaches our own village. Your mother and I are proud of you, my son. In time, you will take my place and sit in the chieftain's seat in the village longhouse. Be on your way, son. Despite the ceremony, you must face Ulf before you can truly call yourself a warrior. He awaits you in the longhouse. Sigurd and been named the Odin's Blade, but the ceremony at the Rune Stone is nothing but words. Tradition says that before you truly become a man, you must face the most skilled warrior in the village. You must face me. This is the true trial. Defeat me in combat, and your place among us as a warrior is assured. Defend yourself. on the beach. Conrak has besieged Copper Rood and their runestone is under attack. We go to their aid. It seems that we have completed your training just in time, Ragnar. To the long ship. The people of Koparud have been a staunch ally for many generations, my son. And their runestone stands as a proud beacon for longships coming in from sea. Conrak must truly be foolish to besiege their hall. Odin himself will reach down from Asgard and smite the betrayer for his impudence. Conrak, we fought side by side in many battles. 
Never would I have guessed that a Viking warrior could so betray every belief we served. No longer will I be but a servant, old man. Not to you, not the village, not to Odin himself. Kaparud lies in ruins, and I have a mere handful of rune stones to destroy before all of Midgard will call me master. And how is it that you come to stand by the betrayer's side, Sigurd? Whisking a man across the sea faster than the falcon flies is well within the powers of my new master. Why guard a rock when I can stand at the front of an army set to rule the world? I have 40 men within an axe throw of your hearts. Prepare to visit hell. Forty men. I need but one to kill you, myself. I call upon the Dark One, the trickster trapped below. Call upon his powers, call them from the bowels of Midgard, and offer these, his foes, to his immortal lust for power and his insatiable hunger for vengeance. Death is not yet at hand.
From certain death, you seek vengeance upon Conrak, and I have granted you this chance. Your journey through the underworld will be rife with danger, and you must arm yourself against the creatures that dwell within these caverns. But when next you breathe the open air, you will stand outside the fortress defiled by the betrayer, the city of Thorstadt. Good journey, warrior, and do not squander this opportunity.
Ragnar. Your route to vengeance leads through this, the boundaries of Hell's domain. She will not take kindly to your presence. And as you walk among the souls of the dishonored, you must defend yourself well. A moment's weakness, and you will never again walk the sunlit lands. Oh, my God. 